everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time and I cannot wait to have you as part of my crafty fam here on YouTube. Now, today's video is something I'm really excited about. I've seen tons and tons and tons of questions about it and I really wanted to test out some stuff. So what I did was I got 12 different kinds of paint and a set of glass ornaments and a set of plastic ornaments and then I put the paint in them. Now, just so you guys know, I did no prep on these. I didn't add any polycrylic. I didn't clean with alcohol or anything like that because in my eyes, adding polycrylic to anything really is probably not gonna make it stick. It's just gonna water it down. And adding any kind of alcohol into your ornament, alcohol actually repels the paint. You can actually clean the paint with alcohol. So I don't think that adding alcohol or cleaning with alcohol, even if you allow it to dry, really does you any service. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and I've labeled everything. I'm gonna show you guys me labeling just so you know everything was done as scientifically as possible. And then we're gonna pour the paint in, get everything mixed, and I'm gonna show you our final results. I think you will be just as surprised as I was at the results. So let's go ahead and get started. And before we get started, let me know in those comments down below what kind of paint you use. If you've tried this before, are you a paint person or a glitter person when it comes to ornaments. I can't wait to hear all the fun crafts that you guys have done. So let's get started. So for the testing purposes, we are going to label all of these and we're gonna label them with a number that's gonna coincide with one of the paints and then a G to stand for glass. That way we know and it's easier for you guys to see which one is which on camera because obviously you guys can't see what's glass and what's plastic. So this will just make it a little easier. So I'm not really gonna put these in any you know, shape or form or anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of stick them on and um, it's really cold, so I don't know how well they're gonna stick. But I'm gonna do the glass ones and I'm just gonna label them with a G so we know that they're glass. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the numbers on them, one through 12. And then I'll label each of our paint jars, which will have a number on it as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do is pull all the tops off of the bulbs. And that way we can easily put the paint in. I'm just gonna set them on this drying rack so that they don't roll too far away. And I'm gonna keep my tops for my plastic ones and my glass ones completely separate. So let me go ahead and pull all the tops off of the plastic. And now we'll pull the tops off of all of the glass ones. And I'm just gonna set the glass ones in and I'll organize these a little bit better once we have pulled all the tops off. So all I've done is organized the bulbs by number and type. The plastic ones are on the outside lines and then the glass are in the inside lines just so that the glass doesn't fall off. The outsides are a little bit looser, so I just wanted to be safe. And then I've lined up the paints because there's two numbers on each row. And I'll tell you what each paint is while, before we start because I'm gonna go a little quickly once I start putting the paint into the jar or into the bulbs because I think that's gonna be kind of tedious for you guys to watch. So I'll speed that part up but we'll go over what each paint is and I will list them all in the description as well. So number one is the Deco Arts Dazzling Metallic in Festive Red. These are all gonna be in shades of red. I just thought that would keep it more even. Then we have a Deco Art Americana Multi-Surface Satin, number two. Number three is Craftsmart Metallic Paint. 
Number four is a folk art multi-surface paint. This one is engine red. Five is a folk art fiery red multi-surface glitter acrylic paint. We have a folk art engine red enamel acrylic paint. Number seven is top notch brand in matte. Number eight is craft smart acrylic paint holiday red. And this is a different kind than the other craft smart. We then have apple barrel flag red for number nine. Number 10 is Apple Barrel Gloss Acrylic Paint. Also in, that one's in real red. We have Deco Art Americana in true red. And number 12 is Craft Smart, Mart, Craft Smart Multi-Surface Premium Satin Acrylic Paint. So again, I will list everything down below for you guys. These were all bought at Michael's or at Joann Fabrics, so you should be able to find them pretty easily at your local stores. So if you don't know how to put a any paint into a bulb all you do is take your bulb open up your paint and all we're going to do is squeeze a little bit into our bulb it doesn't take a ton and you're going to do this just like you do any of the like glitter type ornaments and you're just going to move it around inside your bulb now i will say that this does take a lot longer than moving polycrylic it is definitely a more tedious task and as you do it, it really helps to tap your bulb like this to get that paint moving. And you're just gonna go all the way around the bulb. So like I said, I will do these all in sped up motion for you guys. That way you are not stuck watching this because this does take a while. each ornament and just pretty quickly because honestly some were really much better than others so this is the deco art metallic the dazzling metallics and this one did not so great on the plastic if you guys can see that it's kind of cracked coming off the back there it's not great but it coated fantastic on the glass so I would say if you're doing a glass ornament you could definitely use the deco art metallics but if you're doing plastic definitely skip that one Number two was the Deco Art Americana Multi-Surface Satin. And this one was a win on both ornaments. I got great, excellent coverage, and it looks really, really nice in the ornaments, and it's a really good shade of red. Number three is our Craft Smart Metallic Red, and this was a lose on both glass and plastic. It's got a lot of weird streaking and pooling in it. And then on the glass, it left a lot of chunks that came off. It really did not cover well. This one, I would say, is a big lose on both glass and plastic. Next up, we have number four. This is the Folk Art Multi Surfaces. And this one did great on both ornaments. This is a little bit of a thicker paint, so it did take a little bit more for me to cover it. But they have great coverage, great color. The only problem I had was right here. There's a little streak, and this is the glass one. So this may be an issue if you're doing it, 
but I think you could easily just recover it and it would probably stay. But it worked fantastic on the plastic. I have no little streaks in it. So I would say if you're doing plastic, absolutely a win. Glass might be up in the air depending on a few factors like how warm your room is and if you have airflow and things like that because my room was pretty cold, so I'm guessing that may have something to do with the glass, but I would definitely say this is gonna work really good on plastic. Number five is Folk Art Fiery Red Multi-Surface Glitter Acrylic Paint, and I'm gonna call this one a sort of win. It is not real thick coverage, so you can see it's not super red, but it is very glittery. But I will say on the glass, I did get quite a bit of streaking from where the color didn't quite stay. But it worked really, really well on the plastic. I don't have any streaking, but it is not super solid. It is a little bit see-through, so it will let some light through, but it is really pretty. So I would say on plastic, this one works great. On glass, it's kind of iffy. Number six is Folk Art Engine Red Enamel Acrylic Paint, and it was very, very thick and very hard to spread, which is why you'll see my baubles are not fully covered on either one. This one I'm going to say probably too thick to work for Christmas ornaments because you do need to spread it and it did take a ton of paint just to cover this little surface because it was so hard to spread. So I would say this one would be one I would skip. Number seven is Top Notch Brand and this is from Joanne Fabrics. I am actually thoroughly surprised by how well this one did. This is a matte paint, and obviously with the glass and the plastic, it looks shiny. I will say it's not quite the red I was going for. It's more of an orangey red, but it coated fantastic. It was really easy to coat with, and it's pretty inexpensive. I would call this one a win. Number eight is the Craft Smart Acrylic Paint. This is just plain old holiday red, and I really think this one worked really well on both the glass and the plastic. I have no streaking, no puddling. I think this is a really good quality red as well. It's like a very holiday red, just like they say. And it really coated very, very well. I would say this one is an absolute yes for me. Number nine is Apple Barrel Flag Red. This is just a plain acrylic paint by Plaid. And honestly, this one did really well as well. Again, not quite the red I would choose for a holiday paint, but they had tons of other options. But I think it coated really well. I think it did a really nice job. Again, no puddling, no streaking. This is a win. Number 10. Oops. Number 10 is Real Red by Apple Barrel. And this is their gloss acrylic paint. And I have to say, the Apple Barrel is really performing very, very well. I have, again, no pooling, no streaking, really good coverage, and a great shade of red. This is Real Red. And this is a really good shade of red for your holidays. And it really coated nicely. It did take me a while to coat these ones because the paint is a little bit thick, but I think if you water anything down, it's not gonna coat as well. So just take your time and just remember, it's gonna take a little while to coat these. But Apple Barrel, I would say, is a win. Number 11, we have Deco Art True Red Acrylic Paint. I think this one worked really, really well, but I will say that it did take quite a bit to cover and it did take a while to dry on these ones. But I'm really pleased with the color and there is no streaking, there is no puddling. This covered really, really well. So again, DecoArt Americana Acrylic Paint is definitely a win in my book. And last but not least, we have CraftSmart Multi-Surface Premium Satin Acrylic Paint. Again, a great paint from CraftSmart. No streaking, no bubbly holes, nothing like that no puddling and it really is a great shade of red it's a little more on the pink tone side but it's beautiful and it really was easy to spread this paint so this one again is another great choice i hope you guys had so much fun learning about the different paints that you can use in christmas ornaments i have to say i'm pretty surprised with my results i really thought i would have more paints that didn't work but just to reiterate i didn't do anything special i used no polycrylic i did not clean with alcohol Sometimes I think that using the polycrylic and cleaning with the alcohol can actually cause more problems than it solves. So just make sure that you kind of test some things on your own to see what works best for you before committing to do a ton of ornaments in that same paint. Again, I hope you guys had so much fun checking out all of these fun different paints in these ornaments. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.